And we are going for that heart. Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed Eka Sativa and welcome back to the Blessed Eka Sativa channel. Hi, hi team! people and a lot of speculations have been out there that his excellency kevin smith the cult pastor is still up and running well people the people from robert's funeral home have come out with some information and we're also going to look at what is happening to the police woman who was involved in the case and what is happening to the other co-accused in the case when we get back we're going to look into it we're going to break it down let's kick it First off, I want to start with all the people who reside in Jamaica. The curfew hours have been lifted and it is now, especially on Sundays. So the curfews are now 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. daily and no movement days are discontinued. Anyway, people, let's get to the story. Controversial cult leader was a convicted sex offender. Controversial former head of the Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries, Kevin Smith, was a convicted sex offender in Canada. The incident occurred November 5, 2007. Smith was convicted of buggering the 21-year-old man against the man's will. Evidence heard in court is that following the act, Smith paid the man 200 Canadian dollars. He was given a two-month probationary period. Several months after, 10 years probation orders were also imposed on Smith. On August 9, 2017, Smith is reported to have failed to comply with the probation order. Questions have been raised in recent times about Smith's antecedents since he came to national attention in Jamaica two weeks ago following the alleged sacrificial of two people said to be in the Montego Bay St. James Church. There have also been allegations about the nature of Smith's relationship with boys in Jamaica. The police in Jamaica said those allegations were being investigated. The Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries leader was to face wounding, gun and charges in connection with the alleged sacrificial case. However, Smith died in a motor vehicle accident while he was being transported to Kingston to be formally charged. The accident also claimed the life of Constable Orlando Arns. Two other policemen are in hospital being treated for serious injuries they sustained in the accident. Smith was born in Glengough, St. Catherine in Jamaica. He migrated to Canada in 1993. Smith began his work in the church in Canada where he became a bishop. He also became a member of the International Council of Pentecostal Bishops, which is a religious organization based in Canada. Smith was recently removed as a member of the group when the alleged sacrificial killings took place in Jamaica. He reportedly got married after he migrated to Canada, but later divorced. He returned to Jamaica in 2011 and began to set up Pathways International Ministries, which have served hundreds of members. Smith was 39 years old at the time of his passing. He was a past student of Jamaica College, Vision International University in California, and Mount Olive Bible Institute in Canada. Prior to the alleged human sacrifices, at his pathways ministry, head police officer on Albion Road, which resulted in his arrest, Smith in recent years attracted on social media, where he posted several photographs of him in the company of two entertainers, four politicians from the opposition party in Jamaica, and a former track athlete. The former athlete has since denied knowing Smith and disclosed that he merely obliged a random request by Smith for photograph. In a series of rants this year, Smith, who styled himself as His Excellency, also used his Facebook account to blast the government and national Rona program. People, there you have it, a succinct roundup of the life of Kevin Smith. Now, onto the real deal. A lot of speculations have been passing and circling in circles that Kevin Smith is not really passed, that Kevin Smith is not 
gone anywhere. So people, I'm going to put this video here with people at Robert's funeral home who are actually giving account of saying that this is actually Kevin Smith. And then we can talk about it. By the way, people, when you know that, when you get the news that the pastor missed out of, out of, out of, out of the, the mall, you know, if you get the news, say the pastor missing out of the mall, you know. Mm -hmm. After the eleven, after eleven last night, the body disappearing. Yes. Tell you something, man. Some things are going on in Jamaica. Hey, I tell you something, God, I go send something. His Excellency, the time is now. What time is it, Anne Marie? Four thirty-nine. Recording, and His Excellency is right here in Roberts now. Not missing, not as yet. We'll wait until Wednesday and see. His Excellency is right here, right here. So, there are a couple of things that people are saying. Did they open the bag to make sure that it is him that is in there? Some people are saying that the body looks skinny, and people are also saying that they need more proof. Somebody said, His Excellency, was she a member of something? Somebody said that could be a mannequin inside of it. Another, I didn't know that how they stored body. I thought that they would be naked and a sheet over them. Somebody responded to that person and said, you watch too much TV. <laughs> then someone said, then that a proof you cannot make these things up. How sure, say him in the bag. Somebody said, no. Excellency head bigger than the brother the head. I don't know where the person stand and see the head. And then somebody says, this is a marketing strategy for the funeral home. Then someone said, then fem neck loose weight quick sir. You get paid to lady. Someone said, are they allowed to do this? And I end on that note. I didn't know that they were allowed to send this out to the public. No. Again, a lot of people are speculating that Kevin has not gone anywhere. All I will have to say is this. If the people them say the man was pronounced, the man was pronounced. And I did see all the other videos about how the mask was on his face and then the mask was in his hand. One of the things that I've known because I've experienced this with family members and others is that anything that you have on your person at the time, or let's say body, because it's no longer alive, anything you have on your body at the time of your passing cannot be discarded. It has to remain in your possession for investigatory purposes or investigation purposes, whichever one you want to call it. So it doesn't normally leave. So I don't know how it ended up. In his hand what i can say to you is i have seen the pictures and it's caused and sparked speculation as well but as i said whatever you have with you at the time must be in person another Guys, thing i wanted to touch on is the police enough. woman you don't need to feel shy or afraid to say hi i say hi back you know i'm not better than nobody i can't believe people are out here afraid when they see me if you say hi she is also indicted she's going to run through the natural course so she's going to be formally charged that's what i've also heard and the other person who was involved with his excellency Rodok, who was responsible for the slashing is also going to be formally charged and charges are going to be laid against him now anyway people tell me if you've seen the video with the quote-unquote his excellency in the bag as i said i don't know because it's a bag there is no proof of face and whatever but the people are saying that the man has officially passed and the man is where he is as the woman said she's waiting until three days time to see if he will be there still as per the other person's statement. One of the things you people need to understand a body is a body a body is just a transporter the spirit is what drives life and life is really tied and inherent to the spirit the spirit in that person can still 
move on and go and exist in somebody else. And it is the reality. Those of you who understand the spiritual realm, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, people, tell me your thoughts on down below in the comment section. As per usual, we'll have a discussion. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell. And if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button and send this out. I'm out. Part one of Kevin Smith predicting including the time. <laughs> He 30. He did say he going up in the arc at 9. Which is really torture. That is what the rapture is. I come with salvation. I do not come to rape my people of their freedom, of their breath. You have to pay in this nation to blow up your footprint, foot carbon footprints. If you march in this nation, you must pay. If you breathe in this nation, you must pay. Do you not understand that Pharaoh has built his great house and he is stepping on your necks? Pharaoh tried to bring me down, but I am that I am.